Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here for the Mayhem Prone Show, and you may be asking, Mayhem, what happened to the set? Your projector's gone, there's a bunch of potions everywhere. Well, they're saying I haven't been telling you guys. Secretly, I'm actually an alchemist. I'm one of the local alchemists down in Ponyville. It's quite nice. The reason I haven't told you is because I plan on doing my analysis videos down in my laboratory, but it's currently getting remodeled, so I had to bring up some potions from the place because it's getting remodeled. But what I'm really excited about is my brand new brew, a cup of extract of poison joke, a pinch of powdered jasper, three cups of fermented tree sap from the Everfree Forest, the feather of a cockatrice, and a few secret ingredients all combined to create the potion of analysis. I can't wait to try this out. Let's do it. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy. Uh, oh, it actually worked this time. Yes! I guess we can get right into our analysis now. Today, I believe that Starlight Glimmer may actually be the seventh element of harmony. Now, this is a theory that I'm very surprised it hasn't circulated more around the community. When I looked it up, all the theories were saying, is Sunset Simmer the seventh element of harmony? So I guess after that turned out to be false, everyone kind of lost hope. That is, except for me. Ha <laughs> Now, the first part in discussing this theory would be saying, what element would Starlight Glimmer be? Now, when you look at Harmony itself, there seems to be a few parts missing that were not covered with the main six. The biggest one that I've always thought of was forgiveness. Because with Harmony, you have to be able to forgive people in order to make up with them to continue the Harmony. So, who would fill these shoes perfectly? Starlight Glimmer. Her trait of forgiveness is best shown in what is now my new favorite episodes of season 6, No Second Prances. She forgives Trixie not once but twice in this episode. First, she becomes friends with Trixie, thereby forgiving her for all the past deeds she did to Ponyville before Starlight Glimmer was around. And after Trixie said all those horrible things about her, she still ends up forgiving Trixie and helping her with her trick. If that's not forgiveness, then I don't know what is. This theory is best demonstrated when you compare the story of Starlight Glimmer to the rest of the main six. In season one, each of the main six got at least two episodes to help both establish their character and establish why they have the personality trait of their respective element of harmony. For example, Fluttersai's shyness, connection of animals, and kindness is shown in both Dragon Sai and Stairmaster. Applejack's hardworking attitude and honesty are sewn off in Apple Buck season and Fall Weather Friends. Pinkie Pie's laughter, love of parties, and eccentric personality are sewn in Feeling Pinkie Keen and Party of One. I could drone on and on about this for a while, but you get the picture. Each of the elements of Harmony had several episodes sewing their personality, how they work, and why they deserve their element. Similar to these examples, Starlight Glimmer has sewn off her traits of forgiveness a little bit in the crystalline when she forgave Sunburst, and a lot in No Second Prances. And think about it, we are only seven episodes into this season, and we could easily get two, three, maybe even four more episodes about Starlight Glimmer's character development, considering she's basically the new main character of this season. With that being said, I believe that due to Starlight's status as a new main character, the parallels between her story and the original Adventures of the Main Six and the episodes that have been presented so far, that she will become the seventh element of Harmony and she will be the element of forgiveness. But what do you think about this theory? All of this is speculation. Anything could be true, anything could be false. Leave a comment in the section below to tell me what you think about this theory of mine. Now for the must-watch pony video of the week, it's going this week to Dr. Wolf. Now, Dr. Wolf has finally released an entire full-length video having all four parts of the TF2 analysis, and it is freaking hilarious. It's awesome to just watch all four episodes right in a row. It's just comedic gold. It's where a bunch of MLP analyzers get together and are playing TF2, basically, when they are attacked. I'll leave it at that. It is extremely hilarious. Before you go, remember to like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone, from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye!